born and raised in Putnam, Connecticut, where I still live with my wonderful wife and my two beautiful daughters. I learned to ride a motorcycle in East Killingly, Connecticut at my grandfather's salvage yard. I had the opportunity to ride any bike I wanted as long as I could fix it myself. In 1997, Jay Strait gave me the opportunity to race for Brit Tech. He called me on the phone and he said, this rider doesn't ride for him anymore, would you be interested in riding? And I said, absolutely. This is the perfect opportunity for myself to start a, a new ride for a new team. I would like you to accompany me on a trip to Daytona International Speedway during Bike Week 2004, where we take part in an ARMA road race held each year and experience for yourself what it is that we do. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Daytona Bike Week. Bike Week at Daytona has been going on since 1940. For over 50 years, what began as a motorcycle race has grown into an international event of over 500,000 bikers. Daytona Super Speedway is known from around the world as the Mount Everest of motorcycle racing. The track is so demanding, it's almost four miles long, and the camber of the banking is like 31 degrees. Daytona is known for the racing for sure. It is also known for warm sunny beaches, beautiful girls, and fantastic custom motorcycles, and more. Here's a little of what you'll see. Take a look. gentlemen, I'm Greg Nichols and I road race motorcycles. I'm here today to give you a glimpse of what it's like to road race a motorcycle. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to my team. Starting with senior mechanic, team owner, Jay Strait, his son, Jay Jr., Bruce McVee, and Dave Carr. These are my teammates. These are the guys that make it happen. Daytona 2003 Battle of Twins Formula One race. It's quite interesting. I don't think I've ever seen such a wet Daytona track in all my life. The rain would come down torrentially. Water was everywhere. And then it'd dry up. And then it'd downpour again. Everyone was running around like crazy trying to make tire choices ahead. And we decided to come down my team did all the work for the bike. We were looking for a dry setup in real hot temperatures. This was not what we were expecting. Missed all my practice because we were having our tires mounted. I wasn't really sure on how the tires were going to be. They were fresh. Get up on the line. Flag man drops a flag. I come off the line. The wheel's two inches in the air all the way to turn one. I pitch it right at the point of the apex. I just stuck the throttle all the way out the exit. For some reason, I look up and I'm in third place. I'm saying, wow, oh, I can't believe this. This is great. I said, you know, we come all this way. The mechanic and all our team did so much work. I couldn't let them down. This was the point where I had to make us shine. So I got on the gas and I put my head down and I rode as hard as I could until I couldn't see anybody in front of me. I got around the leader 
And after like three laps, I was up in front, ahead of the national champion. By the end of the race, I can't believe we had almost a minute time between first and second. I was really proud of my team, and that's how we won Ballot Twins Formula One 2003. track, BCM's done a lot of quality work. Very happy and proud of the guys who work on our equipment. We also have our Triumph 750 and we have our 960 Ducati that will be racing Ballot Twins Formula One also as well. We also have Maurice Candy's beautiful Manx 500 down at the end. Very fast. Last year we did very well with this bike without having top gears and also uh, you're going to see how she goes in six gear. We couldn't get six gear nailed down last year and we still pulled a real close third in the win. So hopefully now with that we'll have a good setup. We've got a new Dunlop front tire, Avon rear tire. So uh, we're going to see some new <laughs> new suspension in the front end, maybe tweeting the rear shocks up a tad just to get a little more weight on the front, it's kind of light, don't weigh a lot. Uh, it looks good. Getting ready to go for registration, get my license, credentials, run through tech, tech or equipment, and then it's on to the track so we can sum up, set up camp. Thanks for coming. We're at Daytona International Speedway today and uh, we're getting ready to set up our pit area in the garages and the paddock. This is the track right here. We're directly across from the chicane. As you can see, the grandstands on the front stretch at the tri-oval. Pretty excited at this point. We're getting a little bit of rain. Clouds are coming in. But uh, I think everything, the weather's supposed to be clear for tomorrow. So uh, we got six bikes. So we're going to have a lot of racing, a lot of track time. It ought to really work out really good. It ought to be a good turnout and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Here we are back at the hotel reviewing some tape footage from last year on our Battle of Twins Formula One race. And right now we just went by start finish and I'm doing some lap times to see where we are on the track and where we're making our best time. There's a few turns I want to trim up and possibly make more mid-turn speed with. Certain turns I feel comfortable with already, so I'm going to just leave them alone. But there's some turns that need a little bit of tweaking, so I'm going to work on them tomorrow when we go back to the track for our first race day. I'm just going around a back marker now. We're clearing into to turn near National Horseshoe to the Western Horseshoe. Now we're heading for the West Bank. This turn seems to be a little tricky to decrease in radius so it tightens up on the exit. And it's pretty wet. There's a big puddle at the exit there. Which hopefully we won't have a problem with because we're not going to have any rain tomorrow. So the weatherman had said. I'm running the lower line on the banking because it's a shorter distance. I don't have to travel as far as the distance as higher up on the bank. So we're a little bit down on gearing. So I'm hoping that that makes a difference as far as overall distance around the track. 
Our lap times are running pretty consistent. We seem to be dropping every lap half a second or so, but we're duplicating laps too, so that's a sign of consistency, which is really important because when you're judging speeds, turn in points, shift points, points of timing, and you can duplicate these things consistently lap after lap and duplicate it exact time again it's even more important than dropping your lap times because it's showing you doing everything precisely as the lap before which is extremely difficult so I'm feeling really good about that I'm getting my knee down on the ground and I'm really getting a good sense of feel of traction with the bike I'm not having to, to lean so far over with the bike by getting my body weight closer to the ground. And it helps me corner and, and makes my mid-turn speed a little faster. Certain turns, I'm coming in a little bit low. I want to get maybe a little bit more to the outside. But if you get too much, it's not good because you're leaving the big door open. And if you have competition that's close behind, it leaves them an opportunity to get underneath you. So sometimes you have to protect the line by riding a line that's less convenient or, or not quite as fast as the line that you would prefer just by not letting someone get into a place to where it could compromise your line or even the track being on the track. But I'm feeling pretty comfortable. The bike seems to be really good. Tech went really well today. All the gang really worked so hard on getting all the bikes teched and all the information and loaded back up, and getting back over the track, setting up our pit. The day went off really well. I'm really happy with how the day's progressed. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and I think that tomorrow's going to be a good day. We got onboard cam, and we're getting ready to put on for tomorrow's practice. And this is something new for us. We never really had onboard footage. And I really feel that it's going to make a huge difference of what we're going to learn by having the camera on the bike. The bike seems to be really handling well. Our tire selection for this race was right on. You know, Jay Sr. and I had went over it a few times and we didn't know if we should go to wets, dries, slicks it was just a compromise and at the last minute we said well we'll get some cut DOTs and that seemed to be the tire choice we made the right decision it was at the last minute the only problem was we missed our practice because they're mounting the tires so we went out in the race with no practice it was tough to go out and just go wide open but we seemed to do it, and we pulled it off together as a team. Really proud of my guys all on the team. They make it happen. And without all of them together working as a team, it's not a unit, and it just wouldn't happen. Things fall into place really well when you're working together at things like this. But the way I see it, riding yourself and wrenching yourself, it's a nice thing, and it's something to be proud of, but you know, it's nicer to share these things with the people that help you, that are around you, because it means more to you when you do win. You take the good with the bad, just like anything. You share victory, you share defeat, but it's nice to share it together. It makes it a lot more pleasurable, and it makes a, the whole sport so much more fun, and that's probably one of the reasons why we do what we do. It's a lot of fun. We enjoy it. And we're looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, I think the, the canopy on the other side of the trailer will keep the sun from beating on us. You can take a power nap in the morning in the truck while we do all the work. Yeah, That's what that you should do. Good. You should sleep until about, what, we what, need a half hour to wake up? Half an hour. Yeah. Just before practice. Right. So a half hour before practice, we'll rattle your cage and give you, you know, your vitamins and. Shit. We're gonna get the tire warmers on. We'll get those on right away. Mount the camera. Camera's the two-minute job. Fuel. Fuels. Open the can.
something under there. This is your third and final ball for Armor Race number two. This is your third and final ball for Armor Race number two.
Beach Hospital, drinking some Gatorade, recuperating a little bit, had a little bit of a rough ride, heading into the chicane, some bonehead decided to go straight instead of turning in, but uh, not everyone's a brain surgeon I guess, so you gotta watch out for the ones that aren't on the track, 
I'm doing better, feeling better. Got my whole gang here, crew's all here to cheer me up, brought me some chicken and all kinds of goodies. So I'm good to go. Glad you guys could uh, come and visit. Be out of here pretty soon. Maybe, maybe get out of this place here real soon. Get ready to head home. But, uh, that was pretty much the end of our racing adventure for this weekend. And uh, we'll see you next time. Here we are at the shop, We're working on the rear seat. This is the point of impact from last year. This side be where we hit the ground. And you can't see it now, but all the tire and everything rubber was up on the numbers. You couldn't even see the 18. They cleaned it all off. This side cracked right in half. There's some fractures in here, but we're going to get it out to Dave. Dave will paint her up, make her look nice and sweet. I'm just going to do some of the rubber prep. Jay Senior did a bit of the inside, did a really nice job on all the fiberglass. Just take off some of the sharp edges and stuff so when we're working on it or around it or putting the tire warmers on it, we're not going to catch ourselves on anything. But surprisingly, for the speed that we were going, it's, uh, I'm, I'm surprised there's not more damage than uh, what we're looking at. It's, it's pretty tough stuff, you know. Shark skins make some really quality equipment and uh, real special thanks to Vance and Leathers because without them, man, I'd be Hamburg for sure. But, uh, a mixture of everything. We're just trying to get everything close to where we need it. That way when we get down there, there's no running around as it is. Time's so limited that you don't have much time to do much except start the bike and go. So, the closer we can get on things, getting it set up and whatnot and together, the better off we'll be. And We're looking forward to get some practice out on this bike. We're going to try the camera on the bike, maybe on the other side of the bike. It'll be interesting to see uh, the footage that we're going to get. So, we're looking how forward to see how it goes and uh, fire her up, get some heat into the tires and watch her go. We had an emergency. So the next day we had to run up to BCM Motorsports to get the spark plugs changed and a new computer chip for the Ducati. We also had the bike thrown up on the dyno to test the horsepower. Everything was going great until after we left. <laughs> Well, we thought we were on our way, but we got behind an accident on I-93 southbound, and we've been sitting here for over two hours waiting for them to clear the accident. Looks like they're finally getting something going here, but it's hard to say. You can't see. Must be a 15-mile backup behind us. We're heading to Daytona, and then from there we're going to pick up a renter car, and then we'll head down to the land, and then after that, maybe go get a bite to eat, and uh, take in a little bit of the scenery, and prepare for our tech inspection, and 
and getting our credentials straightened out for the following day and uh, looking forward to it. See you at the Orlando Airport. Seated seatbelts fastened. Carry on like it's stowed until we arrive at the gate and the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Use caution as you open the overhead bins. Luggage may have shifted. Sometimes items will fall out. Thanks for flying Southwest this morning. It's always our pleasure to have you on board. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Nice stay here in Orlando. Come back and see us soon. Good day. Rhode Island and uh, we're getting ready to find our rent a car that way we can make our rendezvous with the rest of the team get our hotel and uh, maybe relax for a couple minutes oh man you just bleep it out like when your dad swears Jay senior it's all mad and swearing just bleep it out it's like Orange County Choppa no fuck it Okay. Hey! How's it going? Good to see you, boy. <laughs> How's it going, man? You have a good fight? Yeah. Where's Greg? Okay. Got tires. All set. We got the tire wheels off the bike. And loaded the bike all back up. We got the best tire they got. They're not uh, not too expensive, so we can afford to buy some more if we need them. And uh, we're good to go. I can't wait. What a weather, huh? How was your flight, good? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, hey, we guess right. I had a feeling you were down here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got all your tires and everything. You're all fitted up. Oh, yeah. Here at the Deland Airport, and uh, we're getting ready to go through tech inspection. We're going to tech all our equipment and uh, our bikes. Once we get through all that, we're going to run through, see if we can get over the track, and maybe set up our camp. Everything looks good. Everything's in order. We got our tires mounted, and uh, these tires are really the new thing, the hot item. They're saying they're doing away with the slicks. 
So they're going with these new type of compounds. Seeing how we're not running the west bank now and the track configuration turns are really tight. They made the left side a little softer than it was, what it used to be because we're only running one banking, which is kind of beneficial because we really need the traction um, in the tight sections. There's a few sections to where we're going to have to be down the first gear, first and second. So we're going to need some grip down bottom. So they really said that these tires are going to be better. Last year we didn't get to cycle them very much. So it's really critical that we get some time on these tires and get some heat into them, let them cool down, warm them up again, get them up to temperature, let them cool down, get enough cycles by the time the race comes, we'll have plenty of grip to uh, make those tight sections in the turns, the new turn sections. But uh, it all looks really good. We're excited. We're getting ready to uh, roll through tech here right after lunch. We're almost done their lunch break. And then it's off to the track to see if we can set up our camp. And uh, pretty excited. And uh, thanks for coming. Earlier I got a call this morning while we were at the hotel. And uh, come to find out, my daughter's a little upset that I'm not home. She misses me and she's really crying a lot and having a hard time breathing because she was so upset. She doesn't want me to crash or get hurt or anything and she just wants me to come home. So, But I told her that if I get her a nice purple bear, that she would name it Bear Bear Junior after her first Bear Bear. And it's got to be purple like her other bear. So that was part of the deal. So afterwards, I'm going to go pick up a bear for her, and uh, uh -huh. hopefully that makes her feel better. So looking forward to getting home and giving her hugs and kisses and being with my family and stuff. So but right now, we're going to have some fun and enjoy this and be a team, which is the best part of all of this, is enjoying our teamship. All right partnership friendship it's way more fun than taking first or having a trophy or any of that stuff it's uh, pretty exciting so we're getting ready to come in and drop our gear off and before you know it we'll uh, be in good shape well here we are we made it inside our pit area as you can see, it's starting to get dark. We got our canopy set up real quick. Our team really acted fast. Put this all in here, got our gear. We're gonna leave the race truck with the bikes in it. Right in here, take the renter car. Here's the new pits. This is Daytona Speedway, and uh, this is where it all happens. So tomorrow morning, we'll come down, we'll fire up the bikes and fuel them up and get them ready, tire pressures and uh, off we'll go. We're going to check out the new course. You can see the skyline. It's real beautiful out here. It's a lot different atmosphere than uh, past years, but uh, it's pretty exciting still, nevertheless. So we'll see you in the morning.
It's just the beasts under your bed In your closet, in your head Monday night, getting our Krispy Kreme donuts, and uh, this is something we missed out on last year, raspberry Krispy Kreme donuts, nothing like them, it's a tradition, right down to my father and my grandfather every year come here, so here we are, and uh, getting our donuts. Way to rock, Like that the one start. Better. Where's oh this one? Definitely. Yeah, okay. That's the one I. Hey, Greg, I found another photo that you could probably like. It's on the board over there. That's cool. Hold that on. Jay's good. Jay didn't see those. I want. I. They're both hot. I like this one. Probably do it. Yes. Thank you so much. God, you guys take off. I wish you guys were in New Hampshire. That's such a bummer. Yeah. Um, it's just plain Jane over there, you know? I, don't, I haven't bought a picture in so many years. I, I got like one, I think. But all the ones the old days, I got still. Oh, Jay have any yeah. we're picking out some pictures here from the wonderful guys here. Do all our Aerotech, our photos through the past years. We got a ton of them at home. We got them up in our shop. Wherever we got room left, we're gonna put some more. <laughs> but uh, these guys do the best work of all the tracks that I've ever been to. And uh, I've just gotta say, hats off to them because there's no shots like they got, for sure. So we just bought a whole string of them and uh, looking forward to getting them home and checking them out. Catch you later.
It's a nice end to a long, successful week here at Daytona 2005. We've done really, really well. And I gotta say, best Daytona ever. This has been just such a joy and a pleasure. My team was right on all weekend. You know, the weather broke for us today. We got some dry weather. Really got to feel the bikes out, and they're all riding so well. We got a lot of trophies. Went off without a hitch, and uh, not going to the hospital, and gonna make my plane flight and see everybody back home. But uh, first and foremost, my team, they're awesome. Jay Strait Sr., Jay Strait Jr., Dave Carr, Bruce McVee, all, everybody pulled together here, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of my team. And until then, take care, drive safe, and ride it like you stole it. <laughs> Thank you.